Hello everyone and welcome back to another discussion on AI. Today we'll be focusing on the Microsoft Copilot AI, which launched on February 7th, 2023. However, it's been in the works for a long time. Some of you may remember the predecessor to Copilot, the Cortana AI, which was retired last year. This new AI program, Copilot, is going to integrate with our Microsoft apps like Office and Paint, and it's supposed to do things like help you get answers to your questions faster, uh, build essays and resumes or build designs like images, right? So a couple features that I note when I watched the interview with the CEO recently, they were talking about the co-pilot PCs that they're going to launch soon. Um, they showed somebody typing in a description. They wanted an image based on what they were typing in. Copilot took what they were typing in and created an image based on the short um, description that they typed in. That was kind of a neat feature. Another neat feature that I saw was two individuals just speaking to each other and they were basically having, they had two, two individuals who spoke completely different languages. They were having a conversation in real time with Copilot in the middle translating, right? So one person would talk, Copilot would translate it to the other person, the other person would talk, Copilot would translate it to the other person. Kind of cool, right? That's futuristic sci-fi type stuff that gets us tech guys pretty excited. That's awesome, right? So translators, come on, Star Trek. It's going to be one day we're going to have that uh, just in our hand. We do, right? So even our cell phones now have that type of software. Copilot was doing it pretty fast, which was nice to see. So there are some useful features. Um, nice to see that they're integrating that just into the computer to have that in there. Now, how much money we're going to have to pay for those features that's the real question. Um, online now, you can already go online and see Copilot pricing. Um, so Copilot is something that down the road may be completely monetized. For now, they do have a free version of Copilot and then like an upgraded version. And then of course, the Copilot PCs that are releasing are gonna have the Copilot software professional version, it sounds like, integrated in with the computer so that you're just able to use it. Again, whether you're gonna have to pay monthly uh, might have to based off of the price models that we're seeing here. So it's supposed to be there to make the user experience better. Whether or not that's the case for everyone, well, that's kind of opinion based. Not everybody's so hot on this like we talked about in the last video. Some professionals out there like medical prof professionals and professors are worried about the AI experience as a whole and some of the downsides like plagiarism or incorrect information being funneled up to the top and that being uh, what the AI displays to the user. So there are good and there are there are bad features of the um, AI programs and software that we're using right now and the AI features that are being integrated into our, our devices. So let's talk about how to turn this one off because in the last one, Google AI overview, like we said, can't really be turned off. There's just ways to get around it. With Copilot, you cannot necessarily uh, uninstall it or remove it completely from your computer. But there are two things that you can do. The first thing that you can do is you could just hide it. You could hide it from yourself and so you don't have to see it. You could right click on your taskbar um, and go to taskbar settings and you'll see here that there's a toggle for Copilot so you can turn it off. The other thing that you can do, danger zone real quick before we get to this one, number two here real quick, danger zone. If you haven't messed with registry edit edits before or you haven't really messed with your command prompt and typing anything into there, please don't do this. Call us we have the number at the beginning and the end of the video it's down in the description and we will do this part for you because this is the danger zone whenever you're making a registry key, uh, key change or registry addition um, this could be the danger zone and things can get go wrong if you do it incorrectly so as you can see here i'm showing what you would type in this would be what you would type into command prompt if you wanted to completely disable uh, uh, microsoft copilot and this is what you would type in to turn it back on. I'll have these down in the description so that you can uh, use them if you need to. I know it's hard to see in the video and that will completely disable Microsoft Copilot. So I hope this video was helpful to anyone who wanted to know more about Copilot. You can always go read online. I'm also going to have a link to the website where you can get more information on Copilot from Microsoft. Um, and if you're trying to read up and, and get a little more learning. That interview with the CEO was also really interesting. If you want to know more about Copilot and the Copilot PCs that they're going to launch soon, uh, but you have any more questions or you need some help with what you saw in this video, please reach out to my computer works and we'll be happy to help. Thank you everyone. And we'll see you on the next one.